uh, I think this is a dream of every cinematographer to do some black and white film, you know. And then the Piargi, it's a, it's a ballad, is about uh, love and hate. It's about uh, good and bad things, you know, and that uh, about uh, sin and uh, innocence, you know, and these things are very uh, contrast and that, that that was the reason we choose the black and white cinema for that yeah that was a long process because we are uh, looking for money and everything but uh, it was a long journey because it was a very long pre-production to see everything to scouting everything to choose how to do it and uh, prepare everything you know we need to uh, because when we decided this will be black and white film we need to everything prepare for black and white it's not so easy because you need everything uh, prepared like costumes like props everything and uh, also we need to uh, scouting location in black and white you know we need to to pictures everything in black and white and decide okay this this will uh, looking good this will be looking good or not you know in black and white because uh, maybe in, in in color should be different but in black and white we need to be very strong or very sad or very smooth and that's the about uh, the philosophy of the film I, I saw very uh, man, many many films in black and white. Uh, maybe Schindler List. Uh, it was very good for for the learning how to do the the night. You know, because in the cinema when you when you shoot in um, color, you just put some some blue or some some color when you shoot the night but in in uh, black and white it's very hard to to represent to audience okay this is night in, in black and white you know <laughs> you see nothing or something and this should be night you know <laughs> and maybe okay nebraska uh, schindler list i saw the uh, oh, citizen kane was very <laughs> because i like this movie very much yeah and the cinematography here is very, it's, it's old, but it's perfect like, for me. The first idea with Avalanche to, to shoot Avalanche was uh, that we, we have maybe 10 GoPro cameras and put it in the, in the, in the hill, yeah? And uh, with the people, they, they just go into uh, they going explosion to to put the avalanche down, you know, because uh, it's a danger in, in in the mountains. And we speak with them, and they just call us. Okay, we need to put the avalanche down the, the snow and prepare it because it's going to be at seven o'clock morning, you know. Then we go to to the mountains, put the ten cameras in, uh, in special boxes with the with the GPS sonars and everything to find it uh, uh, after the avalanche, you know, and they do the explosions and nothing's happened. No avalanche, you know. Okay, they tried second one, second time, boom, and nothing. <laughs> we have drones, everything in, in, in the air to, uh, to, to shoot it, you know. And <laughs> it was three times that way. And uh, during the two years, it was no condition for avalanche. <laughs> that was the reason that we decided to put the, uh, the avalanche in the post-pro. That's just true. We want to shoot it, but it was no condition. During two years of filming, that, that was nothing to happen. Yeah.